coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The industry reacts to the order to ground Boeing 737 MAX fleet, Jetpack Aviation taking pre-orders for recreational speeder, and Aviation Rideshare Startup raises $10 million in venture capital. Hello and happy Friday, I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, the industry reacts to the order to ground Boeing 737 MAX fleet. The industry is weighing in on the FAA's decision to ground the domestic Boeing 737 MAX fleet following the fatal plane crash in Ethiopia last week. Boeing said in a statement that it continues to have full confidence in the safety of the 737 MAX. The Airline Pilots Association, however, stated that it supports the decision made by the FAA and Transport Canada to ground the Boeing 737 MAX. This decision was made by the FAA through the data and evidence collecting process. They believe that they have acted in the best interest of aviation safety. Stick around. After the break, former Delta airline executive may be next in line for FAA administrator. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you have any story suggestions for this or any of our other programming website or podcasts, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With all this exciting news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. Steve Dickerson, the recently retired Senior Vice President of Global Flight Operations for Delta Airlines, could be named the next FAA Administrator by President Donald Trump. If selected, Dickerson would replace current Acting Administrator Daniel Elwell. Skywarn Technology acquired Coston Airport in Gulf County, Florida for flight operations, manufacturing, and unmanned aircraft systems training. In addition to this, unmanned systems will also be moving part of its manufacturing and training to Gulf County as well. The goal being to further enhance joint efforts between Skyborne Technology and unmanned systems. The NTSB has given out more information on its investigation of the February 23rd accident involving Atlas Air Flight 3591. According to the report, at 12.39 Standard Time, the airplane entered a rapid descent from 6,000 feet and hit a marshy bay area 40 miles south of KIAH. The airplane reportedly pitched nose down over to about 49 degrees in response to nose down elevator deflection prior to impact. The pilots of two paragliders were killed last Saturday when they collided over the Torrey Pines Glider Port in San Diego County. They collided at an altitude of about 35 feet and the lines of their gliders became entangled. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. We'll be right back with the news after these messages. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B-Models. The B-Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at SonicsAircraft.com. 
Jetpack Aviation is taking pre-orders for its recreational speeder personal VTOL air vehicle. The company calls the vehicle the world's first flying motorcycle. The motorcycle is reportedly fully VTOL capable and can take off anywhere the size of a small car space. JPA is designing versions for the recreational market as well as for military and commercial clients. The vehicle will be fully stabilized and simple to fly and will be able to fly at 150 miles an hour and at altitudes of up to 15,000 feet. However, buying one will significantly lighten your wallet. The base list price is $380,000. Georgia ride-sharing service Blackbird has raised $10 million in venture capital. The company stated it had added employees and signed up hundreds of planes and pilots. In the past, similar companies like Airpooler and FlightNow have been shut down by the FAA, which said they were too much like commercial airlines and needed to operate under the same rules. The difference between Blackbird and these companies is Blackbird only uses pilots with commercial ratings to operate its flights. The FAA has yet to weigh in on this twist. Well, that's our program for today. Don't forget to subscribe and please check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. Get real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you back here Monday for another episode of Airborne Unlimited.